On the day of his scheduled execution, a convicted serial killer gets a psychiatric evaluation during which he claims he is a demon. I'm gonna ask you some questions. I'm not Edward. I'm a demon. Demons aren't really a thing. This is considered a psychological thriller. We own him. We? They actually called it a horror movie, but it's a Christian movie. I think it's time we tell you exactly what it is that we'd like you to do. Okay, I went and saw the movie Nefarious, and I'm gonna give you my honest review here. This is not gonna be anything super spectacular or professional. I just wanna give you my thoughts on the movie I went and saw in theaters. If you don't know what Nefarious is, the synopsis is, on the day of his scheduled execution, a convicted serial killer gets a psychiatric evaluation during which he claims he is a demon, and further claims that before their time is over, the psychiatrist will commit three murders of his own. This is considered a psychological thriller. They, they actually called it a horror movie, but it's a Christian movie. Just being clear, I think it was the creators of God's Not Dead. It's a Christian movie. I did get an early screening link via email uh, before the movie was out in theaters. I didn't watch the early screening link. I was planning on it. I kept trying to, but I just couldn't make the time. And so I thought, you know what? This is the type of movie where you need to watch it in theaters. Let me go watch it with my wife in theaters. So let me give you my thoughts on it, uh, the good and the bad, and whether I would recommend it or not. And actually, my answer might surprise you. I know the creators, I'm sure, will watch this, and I have mutual friends and stuff like that. But I, I want to be honest in this. I'm not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say what I'm going to say. There's no sponsorship involved. I'm freely able to just give my opinion on this. So let's first start with the good, and then we'll, we'll start with the bad. I don't want to start with the bad because, you know, it just feels weird. So the good is, the movie does show there's a real war going on in the spiritual realm. Again, this is a Christian movie, and the man who's talking throughout the movie, or the demon speaking out of him, the demon does reveal throughout the movie the war going on in the spiritual realm. You know me, I'm a Christian that believes the Bible, and that means I believe in casting out demons. I cast out demons. I believe in the spiritual war. I have a hundred something videos on spiritual warfare on the channel. So I believe the spiritual war. I'm always trying to bring awareness to that. And one thing I love about the movie is it brings awareness to the spiritual realm. Also, the acting is good. The acting's really, really good. The two main characters that are throughout the whole movie are incredible actors. There were some other actors that were not very good, but they weren't in it very long. The two main actors, I thought this was like an award-winning acting. I mean, uh, it was it was that good, it was that level. So I, I thought the acting was good. It definitely ex exposes Satan's plan in humanity, which is another thing that I did like about it. Uh, it exposes the plans of the enemy when it comes to, well, I can't say the word because I'll get flagged, but the A word, which is the murder of children, and other things, it shows the truth behind it. And so, Theologically, the movie is sound. It is sound theologically. It's It goes right aligned with scripture. It tells the story of, they call him the carpenter in the movie, which is obviously Jesus. They don't ever mention his name, but they say the carpenter. And so theologically, it's a sound movie. It is a Christian horror movie or psychological thriller, which I don't even know where to put that category. But at the end of the day, it is a Christian movie. And it does show the story of Jesus and how he defeated the enemy and brings a lot there. And I want to recommend this movie. Listen, I really want to recommend this movie, but there's some other areas of why I just can't recommend it. And I'm going to tell you why. And then at the end, I'll tell you, is there anyone that I could recommend it to? So that was the good, the acting, theologically sound. It reveals the war in the spiritual realm. The bad was it makes demonization look extremely dramatic and outlandish. One thing we always tell people is when we're casting demons out of people, it's oftentimes normal people. It's oftentimes people that are just average, you know, school teachers and doctors and nurses and police officers and people that work at coffee shops. These are all usually average people that have demons that need to get delivered. It's usually not a serial killer or someone that's some high level in the occult. Now that is the case for small majority, but the one thing I didn't like about the movie is it makes demonization look extremely dramatic when oftentimes you're not gonna have an hour and a half conversation with a demon in the practical sense. So it really does make deliverance look, uh, gives a false picture of demonization and a false picture of how deliverance happens. And I know the movie's not about deliverance or casting out demons, but if you're going to show a demon for an hour and a half, I just think that dram dramatizing it and making it look like people look, oh yeah, demons are real, but only in serial killers. So I think it does a negative in that sense. Also, and I, I'm trying to be nice in this review, it gave me a sense of hopelessness. I can't describe it any other way. As a Christian who believes in casting out demons, 
My wife and I agreed, the people I went and saw it with agreed. I just felt at the end of the movie, a sense of hopelessness. There was no, in my mind, redemption in the story. It was just complete hopelessness. Um, I think it can cause unbelievers or even believers to have their demons exposed with no hope of freedom. So I was thinking about if you're an unbeliever and you go see this movie and you have a demon, you're just going to feel hopeless. You're gonna feel like there's no hope, there's no freedom, there's no deliverance. And so being a Christian movie, I could hear the criticism saying like, well, they didn't wanna be overtly Christian, but they were a Christian movie. So I felt like they stopped right there at the 10 yard line and didn't cross the finish line. So I don't, I don't really know how to explain it other than I felt like really hopeless. And I feel like if someone had a demon that was an unbeliever or even a believer, they would just manifest, that demon would be exposed during the movie, they would feel that sense of weirdness, because if you know, if you have a demon and someone's talking about demons, oftentimes it makes your demon manifest. I feel like someone would just manifest in the theater and there actually was some people coughing and stuff in the theater while we were watching it and there was some manifestations happening to someone by me, but there was never a chance of freedom, there was never any hope, there was never any gospel presentation. I know they weren't trying to do that in the movie, but still, if it's a Christian movie, it's already labeled Christian, when you watch it, I think that they really missed a massive opportunity. So I didn't like that. I didn't like that there was a sense of hopelessness. Um, I think it stopped short because there was no preaching of freedom or salvation. It's like the man has a demon. You you might have a demon, but that's it. You know, there was a, there was a real hopeless ending in my opinion. Even to the very end, I won't spoil it, but even the last scene, it's just like basically my the gist was like you're always gonna have this demon following you or demons following you. So, and then lastly, the bad thing, I know I'm kind of naming a lot of things I thought weren't, weren't the best about it, is this is not how the average demonization is. And so again, it paints that false picture. This is not the way we see demons often in scripture. It's not the way that we do deliverance. If you look at Mark 1, Jesus's first deliverance, we just go to the Bible, was a man in the synagogue. So this wasn't some serial killer, it was a man in the synagogue. You look at the woman in Luke 13, you look at the, the young boy, you look at the Syrophoenician woman's daughter. These are just deliverances I could come to mind. The, the man that was a mute and deaf, or a mute and dumb spirit. You, you know, there was one man at the tombs who was cutting himself and that was a dramatic a dramatic demonization. But the, all the other deliverances in scripture were not these crazy serial killers. So I just feel like it did a disservice there there was a sense of hopelessness. And even after the movie was over, there was a group of younger, probably late teens, early 20s. And I missed an opportunity because they were kind of like, they kept saying like, we just feel weird. They were like, we can't describe it because I was ear hustling, listening to them. They were like, we can't describe it. We just have this weird feeling after watching it. And in my mind, I'm like, well, their demons probably manifested during the movie. So there's no resolution. What do they do? You say, well, that might open them up to the gospel. I mean, what are they going to do though? Google it. Google, I have a demon. So yeah, that, that was what I would say. I know some pushback would be, well, Isaiah wasn't trying to be a Christian movie like that, I was trying to be undercover. But in my mind, it's like, it's already a Christian movie. Why stop short of the most important part? And that is Jesus and getting free. He offers freedom. And there's an ending of the movie where you'll know if you know, where they had a perfect chance to be like, there's hope in Jesus, there's freedom in Jesus, there's deliverance from bondage, but it just fell flat. And so, for all of those reasons, I can't recommend this movie. Again, I think it exposes the spiritual realm. It shows I gave it some good things there. I can't recommend this movie to unbelievers. I can't recommend this movie to new believers. Now, is there a place for this movie? I think if you're a solid Christian, you know about the demonic realm, you know about spiritual warfare, and you're solid, and you're okay with watching a, something labeled as a horror movie, I think there's definitely a debate of, could you get a spirit of fear from watching a movie like this? There's a debate there. But if you're okay with watching a psychological thriller, I think the ending was graphic, just warning, then um, I would say maybe go see it. I, I, I did like the movie. Generally, I was like, man, that was good. But again, for all those other reasons, I just felt like they outweighed me being able to give to my big audience here and say, everyone go watch it. Um, so I don't know if I would say like, two thumbs up, one thumbs down, or one thumbs up, two thumbs down, or I'm very mixed on it, but I wouldn't recommend it to unbelievers. I wouldn't recommend it to new Christians because I think it would just cause a lot of fear and confusion with them. I would say if you're a solid Christian, maybe go watch it, pray about it, use discretion. But other than that, that's what I thought about Nine Minutes Nefarious. I went and saw it. There was some good, there was some bad, but to me, the, the negative outweighed the good in the feeling of hopelessness was the big thing for me. There was no presentation of God. And if you're gonna be a Christian movie, I think there needs to be redemption. Because if it's a Christian movie, 
should be a Christ-centered movie. And if we're promoting this to churches and trying to get our churches to go see it, um, especially churches out here that don't even preach on spiritual warfare or deliverance or any of that, then I think there could be some dangerous things that could happen with people just manifesting and not getting free. And uh, that's a whole nother video that I'll make. But that's my thoughts. You guys asked my conclusion on Nefarious. Pray about it. Use your own discretion. And we'll see you guys in the next video.